So these are my two favorite sales tips for beginners. And in case you don't know who I am, my name is Ron Carter. I've closed over 220,000 in revenue over the last couple of years as a sales rep and in my own business. And I've used these tips. These are for beginners who are just getting started. I used these when I was just getting started. Let's get into it. So tip number one is selling something that you actually believe in. Selling something that you actually believe will help the people that it's for. This is gonna seem super basic. At least it sounds like it when I think of it, but there's a lot of people that are selling things that they don't really believe in, but they just wanna sell it so that they can make some money. And that's the hardest way to sell anything. And so here's a quick test that you can use to see if the thing that you're selling is something that you actually believe in. Ask yourself this, if my mom or my dad or my brothers or my immediate family expressed interest in this thing, would I sell it to them? And if the answer is no, well, it's probably because you're like, hey, I don't really believe in this. I don't want to sell it to them. They're not going to get the result. Like that means you have to look at like, well, maybe this product isn't the right product for me to be selling. And if the product that you're selling is your own product, that means you need to increase your belief in your abilities. Maybe that means work with some people for free until you have the confidence to know that you can deliver results. So that's tip number one, making sure that we actually believe in the thing that we're selling. Tip number two, this stems off of the first one. Tip number two, here's the mistake that a lot of people make. They believe in their offer, they believe in their product that they're selling, and then they think, I need to go start a brand new social media channel. I need to start a brand new Instagram or a brand new TikTok or a brand new whatever to promote this thing so that they can so that I can get leads. And yeah, you can't do that, but it's gonna take you a really long time. So why do that when you already have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, maybe even thousands of potential leads that already like, know, and trust you? If you're 20 years old or older, chances are you already have hundreds of people either on your contact list, on your phone, connected on your Facebook profile, or on your personal Instagram. You already have leads. Most people want to create a new social media profile to market their business on, and they don't want to do it on their personal profile because they don't believe in the product that they're selling. They're like, I don't want any of my friends or my family or people I know in regular life to see this stuff and, and, and to buy this stuff for me. When the reality is, if you're selling something that you believe in, those are the first people that you should be contacting because they already like, know, and trust you. You're going to get sales way faster. Now, I know what you're probably already thinking. Ron, how can I contact these people without sounding like a scammy robot person, right? And don't worry, I'm going to explain exactly how you can do that so that you're not even asking them to buy your stuff. But first, we have to figure out which people we're going to contact. So this is what you do. You look at your Facebook. You look at how many friends you have. You write that number down. You look at your Instagram. These are your personal accounts. You look at your Instagram. You look at how many followers you have. You write that number down. You look at your contact list in your phone. Look at how many contacts you have. Write that number down. Do the same for your email and any other social media platforms that you personally use. Twitter or X, threads. Write all that stuff down. Write how many followers you have on each one of those and Look at whichever one has the largest number. If the largest number is the people that are in your phone contacts, then those are the leads you're contacting first. If the largest number is Facebook friends, then you're gonna be focusing on Facebook first. If it's your, in, your personal Instagram, then you're gonna be using that first. As soon as you've picked exactly which leads you're gonna go after, then you just start messaging them. And this is what the message sounds like. The first message, you just reach out to them like a regular human being. You're not talking about your offer or anything. Like think about who you're messaging, think about your interaction with them. And like, you want to bring something up. Like you're just starting a conversation. For example, if you see that your cousin who you haven't talked to in a while is on the list, but you remember that they coach basketball, you just message them and say, Hey, what, however you guys talk like, yo, what's up cousin? It's been a long time since we chatted. How's everything going with the basketball? I see that you're posting a lot of pictures of the kids. It looks like they're progressing really well. So the framework for this message is you want to ask them a question about their personal life or what they got going on. 
like personally that you know about and then give them a compliment. People love to talk about themselves. You're asking them about themselves and then giving them a compliment. People love to talk about themselves. They also love to get compliments. This increases the likelihood that they're going to respond, even if you haven't talked to them in a long time. And then once they respond, you chit chat back and forth, like a, just a couple messages, regular chit chat. And then you ask this question. Hey, so wanted to let you know that I recently started helping fill in the blank with this kind of person do this kind of thing. This should be the stuff that your offer actually does help this kind of person achieve this kind of thing without this kind of pain in this amount of time. So here's an example. If you have a fitness offer that you are actually doing yourself, you're coaching people through fitness, you can say, Hey, I recently started helping middle-aged dads be able to shed 20 pounds without giving up the foods that they love to eat within a 12 week time frame. It's the person that you help, what you help them achieve, and without doing some painful thing, they don't have to sacrifice the foods that they really want to eat, and then the time frame that it takes. So this is the entire message. So, hey, I recently started helping this kind of person do this specific thing that they want to do without having to do all these things that they hate doing in this amount of time, dot, dot, dot. Do you know anybody who would be interested in this? This is what you're asking all of the leads. This is why it's not spammy to do this at all. Because you're not even asking them. And most of the time you do this right, they're going to be like, actually, I am. Or they're going to send you, to, or they're going to send somebody else your way that would be interested. As soon as they express that they're interested, then you close the deal. You send them the link to your offer. And look, if you don't know exactly how to do that and close the deal, um, I have a free community. I actually have all this already recorded, trainings, templates, all that stuff. It's inside the free community. You can click the link somewhere on this video and join it to get that. But the whole point of this video was to show you that you already have leads that are willing to buy your stuff at your fingertips, at your disposal. You don't need to grow some huge following to get your first sales. This is what I would do if I was starting all over again with no content. This is what I've seen plenty of other people do, and they get sales like within a matter of days when they do this. Hope it's helpful for you.